If you're new to crypto, watch this video. You have a couple hundred dollars and you don't know where to start. Well, if you're American, you can use Coinbase, or if you're European or you live in Asia, you can use Binance or you can use KuCoin. Most people stick to Binance or Bybit. That's going to be the exchange you use to trade on. And if you're somebody who doesn't want to use KYC, well, right now you can also use Mexi, which is what I personally use. But now you have an exchange, which is essentially your home of trading. Now, this is going to be off-chain trading. You're going to be trading on an exchange, which means you don't actually own the assets that you are trading. They're on the exchange, but they're not actually yours. They're the exchanges. So if you want to do self-custody or you want to trade with your own wallet, then you can use something like Uniswap. This is a decentralized exchange, but you have to use MetaMask, which is the wallet. If you want to hold something on Solana, you have to use Phantom. So decide which blockchain you're trading on. And that's also something very important to know before you move forward. There's a ton of crypto projects on Solana that are not personally on exchanges. So you have to have Phantom downloaded, watch a tutorial on how to use that. And then you start trading on Jupiter or Radium, which is the decentralized exchange for Solana. For Uniswap, this is Ethereum. This is a Ethereum-based decentralized exchange. And you can use MetaMask for this situation. But okay, now you have a home. You know where you're trading, what kind of trades you want to do, and now you can move forward. You now have to deposit money. So you can use Coinbase, Binance, KuCoin, Mexi for exchanges, centralized exchanges, then decentralized exchanges like Uniswap or Jupiter or Radium or anything that's not related to exchanges. That's where you can also send money to your Phantom wallet or your MetaMask wallet. These are your homes for trading. The external exchanges is where you will actually trade. Now, it's quite simple. Find a crypto you like, figure out whether it's something you want to buy, and go and start trading. But for example, if you're trading something on, let's say, Ethereum, your base token is going to be Ethereum. So that means the only way you're able to actually buy something is by trading Ethereum to go and buy it. Similarly, if you're buying something on Solana, your base token is going to be Solana. So that means you have to buy Solana. Now, other layer ones like Phantom or Avalanche, they also have their own ecosystem as well. There's hundreds of thousands of cryptocurrencies that you can go and trade and find. But essentially, you need a home, which is the exchange you'll be trading on or a wallet you'll be trading on. If you're somebody who wants to stay safe, then stick to the centralized exchanges, but don't expect insane returns on any of these projects more than maybe a couple, like two or three X at best short term. If you're more of a degenerate trader who doesn't really care about the risks and is willing to trade maybe $100 or $200 here and there and willing to lose it to pretty much hit and go home and like hit big, then of course you can trade on Solana, you can trade on Avalanche, you can trade on Phantom, you can trade on Ethereum, you can use any of the layer ones, layer twos and trade on those ecosystems and try to find a project that hasn't really taken off yet, but has the ability to do so. Obviously, if you're doing on-chain trading, and you're trading on Ethereum or Solana or Avalanche, you have a much higher chance of finding something that just came out maybe a couple months ago or maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe yesterday, and finding something that can go up in a very short amount of time that will give you way more return than any other project on any of these centralized exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, KuCoin, Mexi. But essentially, there's going to be way more risks here versus risk here. So this is like part one of beginner guide for crypto traders who really don't understand the space. If you have any more questions, let me know what I can do to explain further.